Roman Airlines, huh? You caught a lot of air on that one. Uh, how happy are you with that finish? It's great, man. It's game plan. You know, you're happy with it, but it's, it's what you expect. I expected it, you know? Yeah, and uh, would you say this is one of the best finishes or the best finish of your career? I mean, that was just beautiful. That was from a movie, right? You, you, you caught him, you wobbled, he was wobbled, you pointed at him, and then you blasted him with a flying name. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, and I plan on making everyone after even better. You know, it's, it's the process. Continue to pro grow and continue to get better every time. Yeah. Is this something you worked specifically with uh, Jorge Masviar? Obviously, he's notorious for that one, but, uh, well, or just, you know, something you already had in your back pocket? BT Dub, shout out to Jorge. Happy birthday, bro. Flying knee for the second year in a row, my man. Um, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not necessarily I work with George. Um, it's our striking coach. It, at the end of the day, George, me, uh, everybody that works with Pauly, it comes from Pauly. You know, that, those, those skills, that flying knee is drilled over and over and over. Me and Paulino, um, you know, preparation makes uh, every day getting better. Preparation yeah. makes perfect. So that's what it comes down to. And you're shout out to Paulino Hernandez. That's the man. You're a Florida guy. There was obviously a, a lot of support for you. Everyone was cheering for you. Um, how, how did that feel like? Because I know you fought in Florida before, but it's been a while. Uh, it, it felt great, you know. It felt, it felt normal. I felt, um, honestly, it, it was kind of relieving. It's, it's normal for me to fight here. This is my backyard, and uh, I love to put on for my people. And uh, I, as you can see, when I show out for my people, I show out. Yeah. So, On our pre-fight interview, you said that uh, you get a win here, and you felt like this... Like, you were already ready to start, you know, taking some names out in the top ten. Mm -hmm. uh, so tell us, anybody you, you want to target at the top ten? There's, there's a handful of guys. We're going to go and uh, make sure the money's right. Because at the end of the day, this is a business. We're going to make sure the money's right, and then we'll go from there, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, got, I got a few people on the, on the hit list, so. Any, any names you'd like to drop? Uh, I, I called out Jason Jackson. Okay. I, think, I think that me and him would be a great fight. Um, the Russian guy, yeah, he just fought Sabat. I think that would be a good fight. Um, Homie that just fought uh, Venom Page, him, me and him would be a good fight. Um, you know, they, there's, a, there's a couple other guys. I mean, it's the top ten. All those guys, whoever you fight is going to be a good fight. So I'm down for whoever it is. I'm ready to go. And uh, like you said, I'm healthy. That fight lasted, uh, I don't know, a couple minutes maybe. And, um, you know, I'm just ready to continue to progress and, and proceed and keep cashing checks and uh, um, moving up the rankings. Yeah. Undefeated, coming off uh, probably one of the best knockouts we've seen in 2021. Uh, if all the contenders at Bellator at, at, at in your weight class were watching, uh, anything you'd like to say to them? Any message that you'd like to throw out there? If you didn't know, you know now. Thank you. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Uh, when you were preparing for that move, you you probably done it a, a million times over. Is there ever any doubt within yourself that? Kind of, he would have avoided it at any cost, and if so, did you have another game plan in mind? It's, it's not necessarily doubt that creeps in. It's like if it doesn't, if it doesn't work, then you move on to the next one. It's, it's like you're chaining it together. All right, that missed, right hand, you know, left hook, take down, whatever comes next, comes next, you know. Like, you know, got the Goku mentality. Keep going, keep pushing. <laughs> I was wondering that. I'm sure you wanted to have that type of energy there. Yeah. Uh, within that fight, you wanted to... Uh, fight the one of the top fighters out there. There's a quick turnaround on December. Would you take any fight there? Definitely. Definitely. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations, Jim Barcelona, Miami Herald. My man. Good to see you, Roman. <laughs> you too. What was it like? Danny asked you some good questions there about that, but what was it like out there being in South Florida, your home, Key West guy, American top team guy? What was it like for you there? And like, it just feels natural, man. This, that's, that's my cage out there. This is my arena. You know, I debuted here, and I will defend this um, until I die. You know, I will always be undefeated here. I'll call that shot right now. This is my place, and when I, I come here to show out, and you got to take me out to get me out of that ring with an L. And Roman, we had Valerie getting a win, and then Cody got a win. Was there a little extra pressure for you after two American Top Team victories? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, at, at the end of the day, everybody has their fight. And uh, for me, it's just go out there and fight my fight. And as you can see, I felt – it just felt good to be back in the ring. I was supposed to fight in July, and uh, that fell through. And to be back in there, try to take it in, I was trying to honestly just make it last because uh, I love what I do. This is my passion. And uh, to be able to, to be in there – in front of my hometown, in front of my people, put on for my, my, my team, you know, 
and especially after the day of Veterans Day, I had a couple of my buddies uh, come and see me uh, that were vets and to show out for them as well. It's huge, man. It feels great. And, um, you know, I, I, I almost feel like it hasn't set in yet, but i um, just trying to take it all in. We'll see how we'll see what tomorrow brings. And lastly, for me, Dan Lambert was here. Richie was here. Austin my Vanderford. Guys. Paige Van Zandt was here. There were others here, but I'm Johnny Evelyn, Sabat, Sleek Sheik. You know, yes. my people, my people, my my team, my squad. I got to show out for them. And with Paige, Austin, and Dan here, are you be watching them tomorrow night in AEW full gear? A hundred percent. And just uh, and I texted Dan the other night, and I said, Hey, if you need a high flyer, you know who to call. And as you can see, I am a high flyer. Thank you, my man. All right, we'll take a few more questions. Uh, Kobe, your line is now live. Hi, Roman. How you doing? Absolutely awesome. I'm good, buddy. I'm good. <laughs> uh, we have spoke previous. I had said it's been a while since I've seen you go the distance. It continues. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's going to. You gonna... definitely, yeah, you definitely stole the show. Thank what you. What I want to know going forward now is obviously you want to fight somebody top 10, whatever, giving it to you. You want to fight right away if possible. Does it matter where you get your next fight? No, I mean, like, it, my dude Johnny Eblen, I, I've already, I texted Johnny uh, a few days ago, and I told him that I'd be in training on Tuesday because he has a fight December 3rd. You know, I'm here for him. I got Dustin fighting uh, December 11th, so I'm going to be there for him. You know, the great part about my gym is uh, the reason why we're so successful is because we have a great camaraderie and we help each other and, you know, when we need each other. So I'm going to be on the gym on Monday. You know, I, <laughs> I got my coaches telling me to you know, take a few days off, but. I don't need to. I, I feel good. That's where I want to be, and I'm going to continue to progress. So if I can get a quick turnaround and get back in there, I will. Congratulations on knockout of the year, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Dylan, go ahead. I appreciate you taking my call. I'm just kind of curious because the previous flying knee knockout you got took place on November 12, 2020, and then same two for day, two. another flying knee knockout. Two for two. That? Yeah. It, it's, it's, listen, listen, it's Georgie's birthday today. So I had to do it again. I had to show him up a little bit, you know? Yeah, and also Goku was mentioned a bit earlier. I'm digging the shirt there. Did we see a Go Super Saiyan tonight, or is that still to come? That's still to come. We have we have yet to see the best, I promise. Last one, Adrian. Hi, Roman. Um, with November 12th being George's birthday, did you plan to do the flying knee, or did it just come naturally? It came naturally. I mean... Definitely, you know, the idea uh, of doing it, you know, again was was there, and we worked it because we knew the guy was a wrestler. We knew he or ground grappler, whatever you want to call him. We knew he was going to shoot, and we knew after we heard him, he was going to duck into it. And you know, lo and behold, it happens again. All right, thanks, Roman. Congrats on the win. Thank you, guys.